Hello and welcome. In this series of tutorials, we will learn about the nitty-gritty of how to create your own blockchain network based on Ethereum. So what we are going to learn here is how to spawn your own private network with a command line interface called CLI. Ethereum has a wallet where you can see the amount of Ether you have, where you can write contract, but this is not what we are going to use because the Ethereum wallet is limited by the functionality that is implemented in it. So what we are going to use instead is a command line interface. So you can find the link for the command line tools at the bottom of the Ethereum website. So you just click on it and never mind. By the way, I now have a Steemit account. So you can join Steemit and read my articles there. I will provide a link. And basically every time I will make a video, I will try to write an article in parallel with the video. You will be able to get more information from the article and maybe more insight. So what is Ethereum? Ethereum is a blockchain. A blockchain is basically a decentralized database that relies on certain rules in order to synchronize the data between several nodes. So this mechanism of synchronizations is called a consensus mechanism. There are several consensus mechanisms. One of the most famous is the proof of work, and this is what Ethereum actually uses. So there are several clients. A client is basically the Ethereum program that you can run on your computer. There are clients written in Go, there are clients written in C++, and there are clients written in Python. Additionally, you can find parity, which is very good, but it's more complex, so we will stick to the one written in Go called GET. So in order to install GET, if you're on Mac, you'll have to install Homebrew. If we click here and go to Homebrew website, you have this line. Just copy the line and open your terminal. Your, I have my terminal here, but you can find it by clicking on the launchpad and going to other programs and the terminal is here. I use a custom terminal called iTerm, so you can use that if, if you want, if you're on Mac. So basically you would paste this line and it will install Homebrew. I won't install it because I have it already, so... But you can check if you have it installed by doing which brew. And if it will return a path, user local bin brew, then you have brew installed. So once you have brew installed, you can type brew update and brew upgrade. You can do it in a one line, doing brew update and brew upgrade. This will automatically update Homebrew and all the program you have installed with Homebrew. And then in order to install the Ethereum client, you just type brew tab Ethereum Ethereum and brew install Ethereum. That way it will check in the repository Ethereum Ethereum and it will install Ethereum. In order to verify that you have Ethereum installed, you simply type which get. And if you have a path, then it's installed. You can also type get help. Here I am on version 1.6.6 and you can see all the commands that you can pass to the, to the blockchain. So here you have it, you have just installed GET, very easy. If you're on Windows, you have to download a executable. So you just go here, click on latest stable binary and go and download your version. So GET for Windows and it will download it automatically. I don't need it. Or if you're on Linux, well, if you're on Linux, you have to do that. And if you're on Linux, I bet that you know how to install software. So here you have it, you just installed Ethereum blockchain. See you in the next video. And don't forget to check the Steemit article.